listen, it's a good show. Me not liking it does not make it a bad show. No, that makes it a shitty show. If if Cliff, if higher education is not on board, glad I'm glad you hold me in such esteem. But like, are we getting paid? Does that mean we get paid? Well, do you keep me in that esteem? You just told me. You just told me. He just told us to take it down a notch. Wait, he just told us to take it down a notch. No, no, whatever. So let's take it down a notch. What says goes? Let's take it down a notch, then. Yeah, friends, we love friends. Friends, fucking friends. I can whatever I say goes. Give me, give me the money in your wallet. That's how it goes. I don't have my wallet. Can I get paid? call. Oh no, I lied. All right, you're next. I don't carry cash. You're next. I just don't want to know my lap. Oh, I know it's going to drop. Yes. It's can in my, it's in my like book bag. Wow, how oh, bad is that? Are you sure you want to... Can you, can you do that again? What? Jesus Christ, I'm going to blind everybody. Apply? Because, no, the focus. Because now it's my white shirt. I look blinding. fucking... Look at me! It's Sam. <laughs> yeah, pale! Yeah! No, you got to you gotta tap my shirt. <laughs> it's like the bright... Thank you. Alright, that works out. I think you're throwing the focus well, off. You're gonna, you're gonna need some like, deep third time, so you yeah. gotta suck it up. Because of the desk and that. Oh yeah, take it off! Whoa! He's taking it off for the ladies! Bottle flip! Young! It's magic mic. Oh, that you Young! <laughs> what color is this? Adam, Burgundy. You ever just say young, fuck young, it? Young, young, young. I will make the joke. What? Young Buccaneer on the. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, you can you can leave. Okay. <laughs> young Buck. Wait wait wait. Hey, he's one of the young <laughs> bucks. All right. One sec. It's a no phone policy oh. area. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Get that out of here. Put that joint on. Sleep. But I got an incense. You're gonna have to you suck just it up. An incense. Thank you for clapping. I don't think you need. Well, of course you level up. I think you only level up. Do it the whole time. Like I said, drum roll. Day rocks. Day rocks. I'm sorry, right, we just sorry, being I'm obnoxious now. See, you let me co-host over here. I told you I'm running this Big bitch. Big right? mistake. Yeah. That's what she said. All right, so what's the first topic? Let's you gotta go. lean back a little bit. So, so how about this box? Thank you. You wanna look at Puff? I gotta be able to talk to him a little bit, yeah. A little bit. It's That's fine. I'll, I'll conversation. lean back like this. I look like I'm lounging. <laughs> That's how I look like I'm lounging. Oh, go. good. Move the microphone in front of my face. I wanna make sure I wanna see if I can find people more with the phone. Um, I'm sure I'm loud enough for him, so it's probably better back here, because I'm obnoxious, so... Do no. no, I'm the most obnoxious person. Like I'll no. speak, I'll oh, speak for Jared. I was gonna say, go ahead. While she was speaking, you're moving that, so I couldn't see. Which one of us? Oh, you. What? Because you guys have a mic between you, so I'm not worried about you. What guys. is you supposed I'm worried to be? about? What do you mean, this, you people? This, this. <laughs> what do you oh, mean? Oh, I'm loud enough. They'll hear me. What okay. do you mean, you people? <laughs> if you need me to be even louder, I could do that for you. What? All right, yeah, we're good. louder, son. <laughs> so, what? What's going on, guys? My name's Cliff, and this is Higher Education's podcast. Today, I'm joined by Christina, Sam, these two as always, and Jared. What's going on, Jared? Finally made his feature. Ah, uh, you know. We didn't go to Jared's. Wearing Jared the right, came to us. Wearing the right team's gear here. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, and you got the colors the on. The team with an actual starting quarterback. Oh. oh. Did he Did he himself win a Super Bowl, or did he sit on the bench while winning it? I mean, he carried that team for the whole season. It's true. And got hurt. But Teams, having teams, an MVP season. teams go to the playoffs all the time. Hey, the playoffs hey, is a whole different beast. Hey, let me just ask you. The playoffs is a whole different beast. Who's your starter for next year? Oh, no. Brian Hoyer? Yeah, wait, who is the Mr. starter? Mr. Ain't done shit? Listen, I'm, I mean, I, I'm listen, even curious. Listen. Mr. Backup? Who's who's your quarterback going to throw to? Ertz. Ertz. Oh, yeah, who oh, is yeah, Ertz? Ertz. Which is we actually got a tight end. Not that's that it? I know who they are, but... What? No, nah, we got Ertz. We Ertz got her. Deshaun, if he can stay healthy. Deshaun, if he can stay healthy. If he can stay Jared, you don't want to do this. This one sucks. <laughs> who do you guys have to lose? <laughs> yeah, it. I got right on my Cliff. left stack. Cliff. Cliff. No, who do you guys have to throw to, and who do you guys Liquid. even have to throw the ball? Jared, my team has six rings. My team could be the oh, bottom that's... feeder for the next decade, and my team still has six rings. Do you see the video Tom Brady with the rings on? That doesn't mean yeah. we're not talking yeah. about next year. Next year's a watch. We got two million. Uh, shout yeah, out so to Tom Brady for the gonna best be, feature. Be like actor every cow- you're gonna be like every Cowboys. <laughs> fan. Hey, if we're allowed to play football Cliff, by then, all right. Cliff, then you guys are basically gonna be with the Cowboys have been since like the late '90s. I have to say, I don't hate no, Tom Brady as much anymore because of his performance in Ted Two. 
Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all, Jared, I've seen After all, that perfect spiral. I've Holy seen all of our shit, Super Bowls in my lifetime. Spiral. I'm not a Cowboys fan. I can go a decade and I still won't be a Cowboys fan. I'll make sure to invite you to the next restaurant. I swear you're in Cowboys Texas, fan, right? Cliff. Is that in Texas? Yeah. I fuck, with, I, fuck with, I fuck with the Texans. Oh. Houston, right? I don't know. I didn't know Dallas you, it, last time. No, I don't know. Nah, Mexico. I fuck Dallas. What do they call the Texans? The Houston Texans. Houston yeah. Texans. Texas has two teams, Houston and Dallas. Sure, they're selfish. Well, I honestly Actually, only know Pennsylvania's a, got two A&M, teams. Pennsylvania's got two teams. Pennsylvania's got two teams, Pennsylvania's got two teams for basically every sport. I don't really know much about Texas. Mm. Well, Pennsylvania it's can't just combine. Team. But I didn't think there was another professional team or anything. But anyway, how about those Patriots? Yeah, we're doing good with our... We just went to the Super Bowl two years ago. Y'all couldn't even go back. We won four. Hey, we, hey, we're taking we a season off. Second year, year off, right? Four yeah. times in five seasons. How we're many times? We're giving another team a chance. You know what I mean? Yeah, we, we gotta take one for the other. Can't be selfish. Yeah. Yeah. How, 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 how long were you guys in, in mediocrity before you guys finally got to scratch the surface of a Super Bowl? Uh, we spent most of this decade. Wait, how long were you alive before your team won a Super Bowl? Uh, what? 2016. I remember they were in the Super Bowl. <laughs> she said before. Her whole life. When I was little. I had a sweatshirt. That's the only reason I remember. They lost to my team. Four. I okay. And then we beat your team. I was four years old. So my we're team won. But my team has more rings. Four, four years anyway, this isn't the podcast. We don't even like. We we kind of get in the sports sometimes. But like, sometimes. Yeah. I just sit here usually most of the time. Mostly when we're not the only so, ones on the podcast. Yeah. Politics. No, please, no. God. No, we'll go that way too. No, Trump's video is that in there? With the oh no. No, that's not in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, did you see that video? What? Oh man, I'm gonna have to show you. Hold I saw on. the thing of after he gave the, the speech for Corona at, at, in the Oval Office, he gets up right after he goes, "Okay." That thing about to die. You gonna catch coronavirus? I will laugh when he does. He said, it's... "I hope I can find it." <laughs> that's all, that's the only time he's gonna take it seriously. He said, it's "Coronavirus a is a hoax." <laughs> <laughs> nope. Oh no! I don't, know. I don't know. He fucking left the stage like he was over it. Oh yeah. Took his zero. But yeah, I thought it was funny. He was like, <clears throat> "Coronavirus is a hoax." Wait, it's real and it affects old people. It affects me. I'm old Fuck. people. Like holy I, shit. Yeah. Wait a second. Oh, no, that's spray tan. Like a like <laughs> What? <laughs> gotta go after it's spray tan. Hey, his wife will be okay. Um, so speaking of coronavirus, though, did you guys hear that Harvey Weinstein? Got yeah, I thought that was hilarious. I'm, I'm sorry. Done. I don't wish this upon anybody. Life, life life really coronavirus, the I do. Coronavirus. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Coronavirus, you have, you know. Good for you. You have grabbed my heart. I thought you were bad at first. And grabbed right. his lungs. <laughs> <laughs> You've lowered gas prices. <laughs> You've lowered gra- gas prices. You kept weed and food the only places open. I'm chilling with it. Actually, no, that made the line so no, much longer. I kinda, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. Kind of miss going to Marshalls for no fucking reason. Yo, people just be hanging out in the grocery store for no reason now. Because there's nobody going. <laughs> it eventually just drives me. It, it drives me up. Saw, I saw, out she's like, I don't know why everyone's stockpiling up. Like, the grocery stores are closing. Just buy one thing at a time. I was like, no, lady, absolutely not. You're doing it wrong. You're approaching this whole thing wrong. <laughs> like, absolutely don't You're going to be the first person to run out of stuff. Yeah, because you don't have shit. You're going to be like, oh, wow, I'm out of uh, water. Because that shit is stuff. How am I supposed up? to wipe my ass? That's the legitimate uh, question. We literally went for toilet paper yesterday. I was like, Brady jerseys. Okay, but like, seriously. Like, you could uh, use a bidet. Yeah. Home- yeah, let me just install one of those in my fucking rental apartment, please. Homemade just bidet. Get a water bottle. No. Just get do a shower head. Just do one of the bottles you spray Oh, my cat. God. <laughs> <laughs> Redneck bidet. bidet no, I mean, uh, I mean, without getting too graphic. Wait, what? Ever, and it's heated. Ever poop it's heated. In the shower. No, you want a redneck bidet. You get one of the You're spray bottles you spray the cat. That's the worst. Fucking disgusting ass feeling. Your butt cheeks on the seat like fucking sliding. Christina, you get one of the spray bottles you get for a cat. Ew. That's not enough pressure at all. That's how you get a redneck bidet. That's nearly not enough pressure. We'll I'm putting I mean, mean you gotta put it on like the jet option. Then you get the garden hose. <laughs> get the garden hose. It's get the garden hose. <laughs> hey, I can do it. My garden hose yeah, is right in my bathroom. Yeah, your garden hose all the way across your fucking house. Away. You can do it, no problem. We don't all have industrial sized garden hoses. Yeah, well, his mom made sure she got the largest <laughs> one in the fucking room. It, 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 quality it, it, seafood doesn't even have, have one. <laughs> yeah, 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 no no head on. For God's sake. God damn. Okay, so. Um, But yeah, fuck you, Harvey Weinstein. The second topic I wanted to say was. Controversial topic there. What's up? Controversial take there. Oh, yeah. No, I don't think anyone will agree with me when I say that, You mean right? disagree? No, I don't think anyone will agree. What did you say? What? What? what did well, no, I was being sarcastic. He basically said, so hey, wrong. Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I was being sarcastic, and you're like, don't you mean disagree? And I was like, well, I mean, I do mean that, but... <laughs> I'm not sure you said. <laughs> We're done. So it's like... All right, so I'm this second topic I want to talk about is a mother 
who does not want to pay for her daughter's wedding because she's marrying her cousin. Oh, right. Right. I actually forgot mm. about this article until mm. you just America! Like, I, I, I think I tagged you in this when we were slightly yeah, drunk, yeah. but I don't really remember. I was like, so I got to dig deeper into it because I'm like, well, why why, why would you want to marry your cousin? If you're, ne- if you're anywhere outside Alabama, you, wh- why? First off, it was like fifth cousins, wasn't Florida. it? And that's and when I, I was like, all right. Everybody's fifth basically cousins, a fifth cousin. Texas. Though. Yeah, we're all, not we're all fifth cousins, but like everyone, if you dig deep Technically, enough. Technically, everybody's really you can related. You find someone related to you. Yeah. It'd be like that, but it's I was all, like, it's all game like the, it just technically. But yeah. the mom posted on Reddit, and she was like, "My daughter's planning to get married soon." Uh, I did some digging upon the family tree, and I was like, "Why'd you?" I First off, nosy hey, fucking hey, Nancy. Hey, okay, boomer, get out of here. <laughs> so she said, "I found out that my daughter's fiance is her fifth cousin. Fifth cousin. Oh, I initially like, didn't no. know how to break this news to her. But it's if it's second cousin and closer, then you gotta be worried." Yeah. All right, Hell, I mean, technically, like, my great my great grandmother. I'd be third, no. If I'm all third, third like, I'd be like, okay. You get up the floor and be like, my great grandmother <laughs> married a fourth okay, cousin. Okay. Right. And we're seventh well, cousins. Uh, like, uh, but like, okay, so I feel like it's, like, oh, it's still weird, though, to be like, you know, you're related. But like, you're like, but we're barely related. But yeah, like, but they're barely related. Do they know each other? It's technically not even. It's not, it's not, did not they even. like know each other their whole lives? It would be kind of weird if they met that old story. They met when they It'd just be weird if they met at the family reunion. Um, I told her I didn't approve of this marriage. What in the Alabama? I told her I didn't approve of this marriage and that even though I initially agreed to pay for the wedding, I wouldn't pay for it if she went through. Which sounds like she kind of just didn't want it. She just didn't want to marry like, She saw the bill and she was like... She probably just didn't like him. She saw the bill and went... Probably not. Psych! No, not no, even that. Home. I think she just didn't like him. I think she just didn't want to pay for a wedding. It's like, like, no, she's probably she, like, oh, that's a lot of money. She was like, nah, this dude, she not, he not right for my daughter. Let's just get him out the way. Find him someone nice. Maybe she knows some, some backstory on him that she doesn't... It's Find like, a sixth cousin. It's actually what? her family. What? Maybe the mom knows some something about that. Uh, Why wouldn't she tell us in the post? That's what. <laughs> Keep it a secret. Maybe it's really, really fucked up. She didn't want to put it out in the public. I would have kept that as dirt. And then that's like not relevant to my judgment. Family dirt. I don't know. Maybe it's something to do with a family. It has such family ties that she didn't want to bring in like five family members that the situation involved. I don't know. Because how the fuck are you supposed to help your question? Trying to justify the most unjustifiable thing right now. No. I'm it, trying to give what? you a reason. I gave you a reason. I just gave you a reason. <laughs> She yeah, doesn't like him. And then I went further into it. I know, but you said you're trying to find it. I found it for you. Boom. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, that one is just, like, you could assume like anything fingers. at that point. And then it's, like, I'm just going to go That's ahead just like and tell I think she, she just didn't want to pay it. Told us. Yeah. I think she, she said didn't. last minute, she saw how much her, her daughter said, oh, you paid for it? Wrapped up the bill, and then she went, uh. I feel like if she didn't want to pay for it, all the stuff. I don't think, like, heritage tests are free. I think you have to pay. No, ancestry.com it. costs like seventy dollars, and that's just starting. I only know it because so, my cousin did it. I don't think money is an issue. I think she really just did not. It's expensive, that. and I, I, it's a good I way mean, to collect DNA from citizens. Yeah, I'm, so I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say there's it. a bit of a difference yeah. between paying for a wedding and like seventy bucks for ancestry. Still, but I feel like if money's not, she's not thinking about money, right? Maybe. Maybe I don't know. I mean, that's always, that's I always that's always that's always gonna be everyone's, the back of your head everyone's for thinking about money. Everyone's right. thinking about money. I'm gonna say it's it's about one money of the two. On the, run, 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 run. Well, first of all, first of all, no, rich people money on the mind. Think yeah. about money, but it's it's they're two different things. Way two different. But still things. thinking about money though. Are rich yeah, people two. really people? No, I'm saying. <laughs> no, I mean like barely. I hate barely. barely. Just barely. But yeah, no, it's like two whole different levels of thinking about it. It's like one is just like I need more. I need to just now fuck that. One is just like. I need more or I'm going to die. There's no urgency with rich people. They just, I'll, I'll make more. It's eventually going to happen. More. They just want as much money as they can But they know it's eventually, they, they have money. That money is going to make them more money. They're not like... Invest in stuff. Yeah. I mean, they have people that invest for them. That's true. The smart ones invest for themselves. Mm. But the majority of them aren't the Hire smart Hire people ones. to do everything for them. Yeah. Basically wipe their own ass. Yeah, there are some self-made millionaires and billionaires that I guess do it themselves but this very small it's a small amount it's like minuscule seven <laughs> percent of rich people i was gonna say 10 but that seemed too high of a number it's, it's, i was gonna say seven is a nice number 10 was too high of a percent that's like everyone <laughs> in 10 rich people that's, that's, that's ah, okay. 24 that's like 25. <laughs> 25. <laughs> but yeah ultimately uh i think she, this 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 woman she just disowned her daughter so her daughter can marry this dude happily away from the mother. So that's my conclusion. I think she should fake a wedding with someone else. Get her to pay for it. And then when her mom shuts up the wedding, boom. <laughs> it's her cousin. I mean, because... Family scandal. Oh, no, no, no. Everybody gasp. That could work. <gasps> because 
all well, weddings are is just a ceremony. But, uh, You're not actually married till you sign the paper, so that wholeheartedly could work. Also, at a wedding, it doesn't doesn't um. At some point, they say, "Speak now, forever hold your peace." That mom would yeah, stand right the end. fuck up. Right actually, here, back, no, back. I wanted to say family that, scandal. Why is, didn't she wait? That is one of those things that only happens in movies. Oh no, no I definitely. I've never wedding. seen it happen. It, in it real happened life. in real wedding. I've never I've heard. I've done wedding photography. They do that. I've never heard of. There's someone I've, doing that. There's what do you call it? I've never seen it personally. A video of some lady that found out about the metro. It doesn't happen much. I would say that mom would 100. Very rarely say. Oh yeah, definitely. Because I only see a few. Usually at that point, everybody's like, "Oh, it's probably because they don't want people to stand up." But yeah, I have. I have seen. That's because they're not the real Slim Shady. They can't stand up. Go ahead. Go ahead. That mom mom would be like, no. I said, never. (laughs) Oh, never. It happens sometimes. Oh, it almost never happens. Yeah, you're right. You know what? You know what? Don't press my dreams. They are forever holding your peace. I want somebody to come in with a family scandal. I say that because that's just such like a, it invites trouble. It does. Forever it hold your peace, or at least wait until after the honeymoon. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it encourages people to I would, stand up. You just just skip over that part. Speak now, or forever <laughs> hold your peace. People How am I going to forever hold no. that? No, I'll just say forever. Week. I could just tell you later after. Yeah, you exactly. Like two minutes later, you just walk up to her. Hey, hey. that shit's fucked hey. up. Hey, he got hurt. Sucks. All right, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Come back. <laughs> Wait, what happened now? By the way, don't worry about it. I changed my number, so don't text me when the check bounce. She's going to say, uh, don't hit me up on my text bounce. Okay, I just want to make sure she didn't get out. John? Because I haven't yeah. seen her in a while. Like, did you take her upstairs? No, I got the gate. I feed her so she's quiet. Right. Okay, I'm nervous. Hey, get back in bed. Sassy, you can hey, go back to nope, bed, nope, huh? Nope, no, she's nope, like, no, you call me down. I want to talk to you. Look at that hair. Sometimes she takes a good nap and wakes up with half of her hair sticking out, half of it's down. It's hilarious. She must get back in bed. Little girl. Bed. Go back to bed. Go to bed. Yeah. No, she said Jared. Oh. She wants to lay in between you. She said Jared's flat. Jared's lap is nap time. You about to get the crotch cleaning of a life. <laughs> lifetime, man. She got the crotch <laughs> cleaning cleaner. of a life. She got the cleaner crotch right on your lap, and you're gonna have to sit there and. No, Sassy, I'm a good Damn. Christian boy. All right, so next topic I want to talk about. I just want to point out I'm not wearing my famous Crocs today. No, you wearing them. I, oh. I know. I just want everyone Yo, to point out that I'm not wearing Crocs. crocs on, no. It's a special. I was watching a podcast. And I'm wearing jeans. It's a, it's gonna snow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't go back to the dark side. Yeah, I was watching a podcast where people with normal know. shoes. Yeah, exactly. Normal shoes are overrated. So, no, that, that is the dark side. Anyway. This is Palpatine shoes. I was watching a podcast where a dude was wearing Doc Martens and they were yellow and it was kind of fresh because it went with his jacket and they were. Roast. I could never pull that. And the be- he was. No. I could with my phone. Here, wait, let me show you this picture. Hold he was kind of pull- he was kind of pulling it off, and I was like, "Hey, no phones." On they the just content. had no idea what the <laughs> guy is. My, it's my show. <laughs> I'm talking to her. Oh yeah, what are you, what are you doing over here? Texting my mother. Oh, are you talking? No, to me? <laughs> Cliff, if Cliff can be on his phone, then fuck. Yeah, <clears throat> no, I'm running this bitch tonight. Oh, yeah. It's, it's her show now. Yeah. Move over, Jared. All right, so that's the outfit. I think that yeah, it fresh. looks fresh. I have, like, one shirt I could probably wear with that, but it's not even the yeah, right it's yellow. There's not a lot of outfits in there. I could I, never I, wear I don't wear yellow. banana yellow. Like, those bright pink... I wear black. I have, and, like, black, the crazy ones. I could never blue. pull them off. I could wear those yeah. boots. I thought they I were fresh. I could wear those boots, black jeans, and then the uh, tie-dye shirt. Boom. Like, I was going to get a pair of Doc Martens, but, like, they wouldn't be that bright. They would probably just be black. I wouldn't get bright yellow. I need something that goes with everything. And he had the pants rolled nice. up too. I was like, it was a fresh Fuck. fit. They were just roasting. They, they really said, were. Just they said just he looked like he someone. was on his way to drive the cheese Heinz copter. mustard. <laughs> the reason I got a pair is because I couldn't find another pair that really. Young Heinz <laughs> the on the cheese mobile. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, Patrick was really giving it to him though. <laughs> Pat was just fucking <laughs> like, he was giving him everything. He's running down the list of names. Oh wait, but when they posted the uh, promo for the podcast, to hear posted. I think he got Pat caught getting roasted. What happened? <laughs> so he wore that fit when they podcasted, and the other dudes in the room just tore him apart. Oh, it was like legit fifteen minutes of I'm roasting. roasting. <laughs> yeah, and then guy. I finished that podcast on Wednesday, and because there was a four of them, they did the other guy's podcast too. I turned that on on Thursday, and they roasted to hear the dude in the yellow jacket. I thought it was fresh. Oh, I thought Again. it was fresh too. I didn't even know they were about to roast him until they did it. And I was if like, I could pull oh. it off. And then they were roasting his shoes, and I was like, they were talking shit about his shoes, like, oh, it was the cheeseburger 11s or some shit like that. And I was like, no, they're Doc Martens. They don't know have about Doc Martens. Have you seen the plot ones? They don't know about Docs. And I was like, Pat probably do. He just roasted. They don't roasted. go to the Doc. <laughs> yeah, Pat knew. He was like, if you go underneath her Pat jersey, style. she'll go nuts. You know what? You knew what? You knew what it was. <laughs> Oh, oh, she's not ready. She wasn't ready. Yo, look, they they made this thing an Eminem. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie, that is kind of funny. That's funny though. Yeah, you're just calling a peanut Eminem. <laughs> oh my god. That's sick. That's sick. 
Alright, uh, so yeah, the next topic I want to talk about oh, is... Oh, whoa, whoa, time out, time out. Dude, really I tried quick. to go into this topic like three times. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is like a really good story, though. <laughs> I, I gotta wait to annoy Cliff. Hey, Cliff. It's, it's like a really wars. solid good. story. It, it could, are we doing fish tales? Because if we're doing fish tales, I'll save it for that to happen at work. I mean, we can, but can you, I'd rather you just tell it. What? Okay. <laughs> what happened so, uh, on this episode of Fish Tales? <laughs> it was yesterday, so I went out back to take the, the trash out. Um, yeah. Actually, I, well, no, you weren't there. He was there. You saw it. Fuck. Nigga, keep talking. Anyway. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> you saw it. I just want to, I want them to I hear it. I was there for a second. Um, doesn't matter. Yeah, no, I was taking the trash out and, um. So wait, was I open, there? I opened the back, back door, like I opened it with the chain and I was taking the trash out. I literally took two steps down there and I saw a dead mouse. I was hanging out by the, oh, by the, the, the drain. I was like, what the fuck? I got to meet Stuart Little yesterday. <laughs> It was yeah, lit. indeed. Got to meet Stuart. And I went out front. Or he went out front and told Brennan. Brennan came back. He just took one look. He's like, I was like, I don't mind just grabbing it on the tail. Like got it with a glove. That's... I don't mind just. That's, oh, that's got the plague. Show. I got a glove on. You put it in the like, trash can. You didn't well, even put bury it. In it? First. I wasn't going. I, I don't know. What's wrong? I, I would have named. I, I would have given a little heads up. I didn't want, want, want it decomposing in the trash can because I didn't want it that. You realize how the trash gets taken out every week. It's got the plague. Why don't you bury? If you put it in a bigger bag, a bigger trash bag, that trash bag is going to get taken out. You give it like a dark. You put it in a container. Put it down there. We're never going to bury it. Put it down where? Like in the ground. Make a headstone. What patch of grass? The patch of grass between us and the bank. Yeah, you throw it at the bank. First off, the people in the bank be like, what the fuck's that guy doing over there? What, the, what, what is that? Hill's employee doing? He's having a hard time. Fucking shoveling. Quarantine day so seven's go got him like. like. You had a good life. Quarantine <laughs> day worse. seven. Got him so bored he's got a mouse Brendan call the plumber again? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. The fucking plumber has to show up to get a fucking dead mouse out of her. He's like, what the fuck? Baby wipes can't get in here. Surely a mouse can't. He's like, I was just here. I fixed it like two days ago. A mouse is biodegradable. What did you do? Of You know, more than plastic. Right. I would have given a funeral. So, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> quarantine doesn't have us doing anything else. <laughs> yeah, to be honest. Yeah, we're so bored with we burning We could invite everybody to be honest, six feet away. Better. Better. Oh, no, you come out for, Sam, what, you out here for like 20 minutes. Like, we're not practicing. Father God. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just like, whoa, well, too soon, man. Hey, guys, I can, right? I can print it's out a thing to become a minister. I can still mourning on that. Oh, yeah, I was fitting to get ordained when I was younger. You went up front. You called it a rat. Yeah, you, can, you can go online right now and do that. <laughs> I know. You went up front. There, you were like, "There's a rat." I was like, "Brendan, how do you want to dispose of it?" He was like, "And he came, he came trash can." He came out. <laughs> I like, this picture. I'm looking. I'm like, "Yeah, that's a dead mouse." No, actually, the first thing he said was, "Actually, that, that's a mouse." That's a mouse. That's, yeah. First off, that's me a mouse. Me and were talking like, about, or yeah, me and someone were talking about it inside, and he was like, "We said rat." He goes, "Mouse." I said, "Nah, nigga. If it's outside, it's a rat. If it's inside, it's a mouse." No, that's a mouse. It didn't have a fat tail. <laughs> yep. A small okay. little mouse. Except, nah, when I was coming off 30th Street of the subway, I saw a rat the size of a cat, and I was like, that's a rat. That's a rat. That's, that's a, a rat. rat. That's a rat. That's, that's like, that's Philly splitter. Philly rats. That was fucking, splitter. He's you know, Philly, any, like, <laughs> coming to I feel like you go into Philly, and it's just like, there's like, there's like, um, he literally was cat sized. There's like, like nuclear waste in there, and like, every yeah. time yeah. something it turns, goes it turns, in there, it turns into the subway. Like, the fucking rats are huge. Some cockroaches are fat. Some of those, like, yeah, we should watch Ninja Turtles when I'm drunk. I'm sorry. I feel like the Ninja Turtles. I feel like the Ninja Turtles exist. I got the VHS for it. <laughs> Shit's so fucking funny. The Ninja, no, they, and, they, the Ninja Turtles are based There's a reason they're in New York. Feel. New York's so much more. Uh, Can we watch uh, the one that's got oh, vanilla yeah, ice in it? Unclean. I mean, oh, Philly's dirty, but New York's dirty. I got that on VHS. Yeah. I feel like but, New York. It's just New York's more popular. Right. Let's get into this topic I've been trying to get into. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> Star again. Wars. He's got two enjoys. So, so Kylo Ren's really a feeling babe. Himself, I know. Right. So, we talk about him. Star Wars. Yeah, all right. All right. So, on to the next topic I was going to talk about. A uh, report has come out that apparently NBC pushed away Steve Carroll for the final season. Carroll. 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 Steve Carroll. Carole. Don't embarrass Carole me. It's Carole. Steve Carroll. I've Listen, never in my life. I know. Life. That's how I spelled it too. And it was like, did you mean no. LL? Yes. And I was like, maybe, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Listen, we'll so anyway, he we'll wanted more know. money. NBC didn't want to pay him. So they kind of just ghosted him and let him walk. And they never offered him uh, another contract. Yeah, that shows how bright the leadership is there. So I saw this on Reddit last night. And then it night. went downhill. That's why they have absolutely and no programming. NBC at one point was like a hit. Yeah, when the yeah, office was yeah. on. That's when everybody was watching it. Also, had, had, It's gone downhill since then. The office. 30 Rock. Mainly because Community. like two office writers left to go work on Parks and Rec. 
and then community, and then Scrubs. Yeah, they had so much stuff. Like, they had so much yeah, more than just those, the office. Then they cut those short. NBC was killing it for no. like. A, NBC had this Scrubs nice golden ran, period. Scrubs, Scrubs ran too long. Scrubs had a spinoff that should have never happened. That was like I've never like seen a direct, it. dude. It was like, like a direct Scrubs. spinoff. Oh, Scrubs is amazing. Was it a direct spinoff? Yeah, it was a direct. It, it was, was like, okay. uh, what's James Franco's little brother? Uh, fuck, James and um, Dave, is that his name? No, I Dave think Franco. I think that sounds. I think it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, David Franco. I can see his face. I was thinking, yeah, I was but like... so it was starring like a young Dave Franco and like some other people, and it was like a spinoff with like the main character in Scrubs is named JD, uh, something Dorian. Uh, fuck. Is that the name. guy who was the Mando Warren? But no, as in like the, the white Warren from yeah, Back to the Future. Oh, uh, was that, was that Zach? So he... Zach something. Zach Braff. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. So he the spinoff yeah, is like guy. him in the in Scrubs. He's like a doctor. He's just like a uh, starting out, and then like nine seasons later, he's a doctor. But then the spinoff is he's, he's a, a teacher. Doctor and he's a doctor. He's a full. I was gonna so say full a, on he's doctor. He's a fucking doctor. <laughs> he's a fucking. I thought you were gonna say he's a fucking doctor. And I was gonna be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you? You a fucking doctor? But like, uh, no, I'm so just a regular doctor. Ah, shit. The spinoff is him, and it's like they open a college, a medical school next to the hospital, where they'll go to the school and go to the hospital, and JD's in like the first episode, and the spinoff is terrible. So Scrubs ran, ran, Scrubs ran too long. Community how many also arguably too long? ran too long. How many seasons too long? Like community did six seasons. How, long, how many it seasons? It did, but it only had that was five the, seasons. It that only was literally had, the thing for it. It was supposed to be six seasons in a movie. It was like it's been the joke five for seasons years. on NBC and then one season oh, yeah. on Yahoo streaming. Yeah. The fuck is Yahoo streaming? No one watched Yahoo streaming. <laughs> I didn't even know it existed until like one day when I randomly saw it. I was like, Yahoo has a streaming platform? Yeah. So wait, let me go to Reddit. Who the uh, fuck's on Yahoo? Something else will be doing. No, that's part two on it. Oh! Nigga, I'd be... Listen, I'd be paranoid as shit in here. The tell sign is if Sassy's not freaking out, you're good. There's no one out there. If there was someone oh, okay. standing out there, she'd be going off. She's the only way I didn't know it was her. I was like, what the Would hell? she jump somebody? Because you cannot see out that door. Would she it's jump so somebody? Yeah. No, she would just bark. And that, her barking, like, not even barking. If she moves her head towards the door, I can see out the corner of my eye. And I, like, dart towards the door, too. Or, like, tethered at the head. I like yeah, had hard golf, 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 golf what the fuck? You got the shining. Hey, what the fuck? The, sh- the shining? <laughs> the shining. You got so, the shining. Scott the shining. Apparently, they were saying that Steve Carroll. Carell. Carell. Steve Carell. Steve Carolla. You're really close that time. <laughs> you were like. <laughs> Steve Sonata. <laughs> so, Frank Sinatra. Like, no, so, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> so Frank Sinatra. Steve Carell. Yes. He didn't want to leave the show. He had told the network that he was going to sign for another couple of years. And he told his manager and his manager contacted them and said he was willing to sign another contract. And the deadline came for when the network's supposed to offer him the, the contract and time passed. He didn't get, get the offer. And exactly. they didn't want to renew with him. We could have got two more seasons of Steve Carell. But then Even if, more. If NBC didn't fuck it up. Someone really explained it well. Hey, and I'm trying to home. find their explanation. Stay, woke. stay fucking calm. But... Okay, so this person who, I'll shout him out, the name is RBLG. They said, and they also have like 12 awards on this one comment. Hey. I think what a lot of folks aren't realizing about this news, especially from what I'm seeing on social media, is that they're looking at The Office like it was a level of recognition of Seinfeld or Friends during this time, but it wasn't. The level of fame happened years after the show's season 9 finale when The Office became a staple on Netflix and then exploded with recognition from that time. During season 6, a lot of the Office fanatics congregated on a website called Office Tally. And at the time, the Office had hit relative popularity with what was regarded as somewhat niche humor in that era of television. It had a decent rating, 7 to 8 million per episode, but those paled in comparison to The Big Bang Theory with 20 million per episode. Also during this time, the Office was even losing in the awards season to The Big Bang Theory. Jim Parsons beat Steve Steve Carell for Best Comedy Actor on multiple occasions, and Steve number one, a fact that still riles me. Even in the fandom, many remarked at the time that season six was a noticeably decline in quality compared to the previous seasons. Many of the office writers had departed in the previous years for Parks and Recs, and had helped reshape the PNR after it was panned in season after it was panned in season one. One of the criticisms in season one, funny enough, was that Leslie Nope was too much like Michael Scott. When news first broke about Steve Carell, I struggled so much Carole. with this last Carole. name. That's all right, we get it, we get it. It's all right. <laughs> So close. So when Corolla. news first broke about Steve Carell leaving, one of the primary complaints on Office Tally was not that he was leaving, but that the show had run its course <clears throat> and should end with his departure in season seven. Multiple reviewers at the time felt this way too, arguing that the show had lost a lot of its tension and momentum with Jim and Pam's wedding and that they struggled to create compelling jam, jam, jam story post-wedding. <clears throat> Parks and Rec would end up learning from this and doing a much better job with Ben and Leslie. 
All of this is to say that this news will inevitably cause a lot of outrage towards NBC. Poor Steve Carell also got a share of internet outrage at the time. But NBC saved The Office from cancellation on multiple occasions. They planned to air season two, The Dundies, after the season finale, and was the only network to give The Office a shot. Not only that, but many thought The Office was done after a disappointing season eight, but NBC was kind enough to give The Office a true final season, allowing Greg Daniels to return, and I think we all agree that the final three episodes of the series were a much better send-off than the last episodes of season eight would have been. I, I don't know. Yes. When Steve originally left, the consensus was that he was ready to move on. And this was the, consistently the message from everyone. Gossip columns, NBC, the showrunners, cast, and Steve. Some were mad at Steve and added him directly on Twitter, but most understood. While the show had catapulted him into worldwide recognition, the truth is that The Office likely does not survive without him slaying his role in 40-year-old version between seasons one and two, and the ratings bump it brought in season two. As an aside, before this bump, colonists felt that The Office would go the way of under a smart comedy like Freaks and Geeks, but also like Freaks and Geeks, it might be canceled. But the bump Steve Carell gave The Office may have truly paved the way for shows like Parks and Rex, Community, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and The Good and the Good Place to get greenlit as well. That's another good show NBC has at The Good Place. <clears throat> so most understood that Steve Carell had given 150 episodes to the series and totally understood if he was ready to move on. It is possible he wanted to stay, and if this is true, it's absolutely better. But after religiously filing Office Tally at the time, I feel the truth is somewhere in between the middle. Remember, The Office only had good to decent ratings at the time. Compared to shows like BBT, Two and a Half Men, Modern Family, CSI, Grey's Anatomy, and NBC's unscripted shows. And it's quite possible that NBC wasn't ready to pay Steve star money to stay on board. This would have outraged me at the time, but I get it. Even some of the show's most devoted fans felt the series had run its course, and it makes sense if executives thought the same thing. So, I thought that was an interesting read. And especially if never watching The Office, I was like, that seems very level-headed. That makes sense. Because a lot of things blow up after the fact. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just got to say, from I the beginning of that really comment, like, and you like, you wouldn't really Part of the fandom, like, a lot, because I saw it, like, when they were filming, like, the last couple seasons. Yeah. And I was too busy catching up, like... Yeah. So I never really was on social media at the time, like following that type of stuff. So I didn't really know how big it was. But. I mean, I think that's like we were probably. I I know I wasn't worried about sitcoms on TV when like I didn't watch Community when it was out. I was not. I don't. I mean, I probably was watching other stuff, but like I was. I was <laughs> high school or middle school. We was doing goon shit. <laughs> you were watching the Boondocks. Boondocks. Oh, I, I was. was, yeah, I was watching. Boondocks. I was actually watching things that was too inappropriate. Teenager show, you know. I was like, "Fuck this smart humor! I want to watch the adult shit, the poop, and dick jackass, jokes. <laughs> jackass 3D." I just gotta say, from the beginning of that jackass. guy's Dude, novel that he wrote, what's up? Uh, can we stop saying that Friends was a good show? Friends, is... Friends, listen. No, there are no. gonna be shows Just that you sucked. guys don't enjoy. Like I hate the people who say, "Oh, it's, it, it was be a good, good or better than it's Seinfeld." Not a bad show. Seinfeld was so much better than Friends. Yeah, listen, it's, it's not overhyped. Listen, it's listen, oversaturated. I'm gonna say this: it's not overhyped. It's oversaturated. It is. I see Friends. It very much, it very much everywhere is. I go, it I see not Friends. I hear about it. Everybody's like, "Oh, Friends is Friends that," and that's why the oversaturation. Get off the hype train. Hype Train will ruin movies. I don't hype Train will ruin I personally watch the show myself. I, guess, I don't enjoy that. For friends, show. Listen, can as, like, you name two, two jokes that are known for it besides How You Doing and Pivot. The Fucking Cat? Or whatever. Oh, Pivot. Pivot. I don't know. <laughs> we were on a break. And then, hold on, what else? I'm saying. My like sandwich. I hate that people put it on the level of my, Seinfeld because Seinfeld was so much I'm not funnier. even sorry. Bro, I never saw my favorite. Dude, I can Seinfeld so was good. I think the one thing that the one thing I seen is that Joey walks in. He's like, "Oh, I have a kiss today," and he's got the fucking pizza. He's Wait. like, "Tongue, yep." All right. All right. Eat some pizza. I might have. That's the one clip. Joey's I've seen the funniest character show. on the show. I I'm gonna I say find it. Joey funny, but like the other characters, it's like that's why he got a really like, bad out of context episode. Right? That's why I he got a really bad friends. spinoff. I just hate how overhyped and like people actually think it's fucking funny. Okay, so here's like, it's my. It's not really that funny. Okay, like wait. it's kind of sit there like. Hmm. Real quick, I just want to say. Hmm. Kind of all humor. It, all right. Like, uh, all right, hold on. Because it's a, I, I mean, Friends is on the level on like not, Big Bang not Theory level. Enough. Just because yeah, a lot of people, yeah. just because a lot of people watch it doesn't mean it's good. It's not. Big Bang Theory is like that's what uh, no, enjoy. it's got. I'd watch I, Friends over Big Bang, Bang Theory. I'd watch Friends over Big Bang every day of the week. Big Bang is the, the I would, absolute. I would worst watch show. anything else besides those two shows. It's not fucking funny at all. Yeah, I don't get the hype. Listen, I never got the hype. I've seen bits and pieces of Big Bang Theory. Friends is good. Big Bang Theory isn't though. 
that's the it's not. I don't understand why it, so why it was so popular. fucking popular. Well, yeah, but people people why say the Friends is good because it's so popular. Fucking funny. What? Because older. All right, so I'll explain why Big Bang Theory is popular. Because Big Bang nerds. Theory. That's exactly. That's actually right. It's like pseudo nerd, but it's not nerd. The joke is about. No, it's nerds, not even. Su- it's, it's not, not even pseudo nerd. It's what it's what they think joke. is a nerd. It's just a joke on them. It's literally like, like a 1980s definition like of a nerd. I show you. Well, yeah, I showed you Archer, right? And how Archer has little tiny jokes that are like. Oh, like, or what are you? The blah 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 blah, and it's a really random fact. Like, you're the person who discovered that iron's in blood, and it's like, why? Why would I know who that is? But yeah. if you know who that is, that's a really interesting niche fact. Uh-huh. Big Bang Theory doesn't do that. They just go, oh, E equals M C squared, or like what? That wasn't. Yeah, funny. I've literally seen like just, bits and pieces. Of it's not Big Bang Theory, and it's just it isn't like a. I want to go watch Archer. Archer that catches my interest. Yeah, it's like all. we we gonna pause this podcast. I'm gonna get y'all to laugh at one friend's clip. Ah ha 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 ha! Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> well, I told you it was Chandler who was smoking the pot, but the pot. It was me. I'm sorry. I take up the pot. It was you. Yeah, and Dad, Chandler didn't really know serious your records. Moment. Ross did. Is that true? And Dad, you know that mailman that you got fired didn't steal your Playboys. Ross did. <laughs> no. Yeah, this will be funny. To get in 30 seconds. <laughs> All right. Joey, if you want to leave, just leave. <laughs> Rachel, no, you weren't supposed to put beef in the trifle. <laughs> it did not taste good. <laughs> Phoebe, I'm sorry, but I think Jacques Cousteau is dead. <laughs> Monica. Why you felt you had to hide the fact that you're in an important relationship is beyond me. And we kind of figured about the porch swing. <laughs> oh, no. Ross. Damn. Drugs. Divorced. Again. Again. What happened, son? I, I, uh, I got tricked into all those things. Tricked into all those things. Chandler. You've been Ross's best friend. That's, no. That was it. Damn, we even gonna go over Ross? So, I wasn't saying it's a laugh out loud show, but it's enjoyable. I think it's a good show, but I also think a lot of the times you see things and you're like, oh, I've seen that before. It's a tired trope. But, like, that show came out in the 90s when we were children. So, a lot of shows have also tried to emulate that success. So, we've seen it a lot, but, like, we've seen a lot of shows. We've seen a lot, a lot of, of shows. Of, exactly. A lot of ideas from other shows. And that's shows why it's like, it's hard to go back and, like, for example, watching, like, 80 action movies. Oh, I've seen this trope thousands of times, but, like, that's it, probably they like didn't one see of the that first in the 80s. 20 people to do it. <laughs> like, probably one of the first 10 movies to ever try that. Yeah. But, like, I'm not saying it's, like, the greatest show ever. I think people overhype friends to an extreme amount, but I think it's more than a bad show. I think it's a show that you can get really big to and enjoy. Because if you, if you watch, like, an action, like you said, like an action movie from the 80s, and when you watch one that came out like this year, it, it's basically the same shit, just newer. Yeah. Like you just do more now. Yeah. I mean, you there should you be. You do as much back then. There should be more creative ideas, but yeah. You had like this original you idea, you and have now you have cooler. that original idea plus a hundred things that you can do to that idea now with technology and all, all the progression in, in filming. Yeah. I agree. Same thing with the sitcoms. Like oh, yeah. they got jokes that have happened in sitcoms that they they tried to again different wording, different uh, circumstance. And it's the same kind of joke, but well, also sitcoms always ever evolving it's too. It's been like, developed, I guess. Yeah, like I feel like eighties almost sitcom was like a wholesome, loving family, and we're gonna just do episodes that aren't connected. These are random. Just every, something's gonna like. Uh, Family Matters or Step by Step, 
or like I forget what the show is called. Malcolm in the Middle. Malcolm in the Middle. Malcolm in the Middle was two thousand. I know. I was gonna go with it. But a family sitcom. That that show was better than Friends. Still a family sitcom though. Oh yeah, Malcolm in the Middle is like top tier show. I love Malcolm. You're like putting these giants against Friends. Being like, if it's not the greatest show ever, it sucks. I know, but people say, but people say Friends is not Malcolm in the Middle. I don't want it. I know, but we're we're we've already acknowledged that people. I've never seen Malcolm in the Middle. Like we all agree, people overhype. Friends. It's good. We've also done. Your fire stick. Yeah, but too many things Malcolm in the Middle. like Malcolm in the Middle. It's like Friends isn't as good as Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad is like a fucking well, that, that doesn't make any sense. Show. There's two oh, different. Of course, that's because that's because they're two different things. There's millions of shows that are better, that are worse than Breaking Bad. You gotta compare sitcom. That's sort of like saying that's like saying Saul Two isn't as good as like Zootopia. Yeah, like you can't compare apples and oranges. That's literally Zootopia. Is pretty good. Yeah. You just compared apples are all friends versus Breaking <laughs> Bad. What the? What the? They're two different That's things. The same thing. Of course, Saw Two is going to be worse than a Disney movie. When did you ever think a yeah, second Saw was going to be worse? I, than I thought Disney Saw movie? Two was great. Mm. I think it's hilarious. The first Saw was all right. They they started going overboard. Of course, that's why it's great. Shit. It's like it's like Final Destination. They're horrible, but they're great. But yeah, the worse they get, the better so like, they get. But yeah. those aren't like good films, though. Oh no, they're great. No, but, but I like, thought they were great. Josh Green is hilarious. But like Zootopia is. Great to watch and it's a good movie. So and, like, and kids can watch it. It's like, oh, well, like for example, Home Alone three isn't as good as like Wally. Of course not. Home Alone three, the fuck? Exactly. That's when they, of course, I, that's when they had like the totally different actor in there. <laughs> yeah, what's the hell wrong with that? That's when Macaulay was already on crack. It's literally the worst. So like, you can still compare. <laughs> one's a comedy, years. one's not. But like, they didn't even try to be original Home Alone three. It's literally it's just a different rich kid stuck in a big house by himself when two burglars try to well, break I mean, it. It's, it's not. It's a, not that wet band. It's the first movie with a different actor. There's, wet band. There's, there's only sad. one premise for that. Home Alone. Oh damn. All right, we're not vacation alone. Can we just talk yeah. about how <laughs> great the New York is pushing <laughs> a little bit? Like Home Alone. Can we, can we talk in about New York? York. No, no, we don't. We're not even home. Talk about the wet band. It's my favorite fucking villain of all time. The sticky band. What you mean? We're the sticky band. I swear to God, in any bad movie, any bad guy in any movie, the wet bandits are my favorite. Oh my god, they got butchered. Oh my god, they should have died so many times. I fucking love. Like the original Thousand Ways to Die, but yeah, I, I guess fucking I fucking love them. I guess they should have died so many times. Yeah, I guess to tie that whole whole thing up, I would say Friends is a good show, but The Office is obviously better. That was the point of that. You haven't even seen The Office. Yeah, but again, it's <laughs> I don't have this you, like you Stanley can yeah you, know, you go you go Breaking Bad. Seinfeld, The Office, what? Friends. Are you Seinfeld is overrated. Are you kidding? No, no right not me. Like, no, sir, Seinfeld was actually lying? funny. These are no, expensive Seinfeld's Ray Bans jackets. Yeah, exactly. But you're saying Friends Ray-Bans isn't overrated. Jacket. I did say Seinfeld I, is Jared. here. Friends is like here. I said I, never I did say. Friends. I'm not saying Seinfeld's no, the greatest no. show ever, I but it's say, in terms of sitcoms. Obviously, The Office because it's actually written by actual comedians. Seinfeld. There you go. There it is. The Hoochie Clan. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Seinfeld is also over. She's here. using both of us. Just not nearly wow. to the level of She's friends. leaning on me. Working the crowd, huh? <laughs> no. Just because everyone that watched then Seinfeld again, is. It was actually dead. funny. Same Oof. people that watched Ray Romano's show. What was that? <laughs> yeah, you don't know because they're all dead. Did you know I would say dead, but they're all oh, yeah, loves our customers at Hills. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you so, watch. So I'm ready to, 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 to wrap here. Hold on. Are you using that microphone? All right, so. customers. No, you got that one over there. Wait, wait, wait. He's gonna take it. He's gonna take it. Here, Christina. Christina. Back it up. I'm backing up on our fucking you drinks. Your drink. My drink. Yeah. You didn't know that? I can't drink. The fuck, I can't. Watch me. I know. I know you can't. Oh yeah, apparently can't. Oh. Yeah, leave in the middle. Here? No. Dude, oh. Game night. He's gotta go. To I blast our viewers away. Here? Yeah, also. Hmm, never mind. Uh huh. I was going to say, I don't think I've ever laughed at Seinfeld. Oh, I've never seen Seinfeld. I've never, seen, never, seen, I've never seen, seen, laughed at that clip of Friends. Yeah. That was. Seinfeld was so much better in. Yeah. Hell, that, so that's the office. Larry David's <laughs> still on TV to this day. Who? He's the guy. No, I was like, don't say who. Yeah. I was gonna oh, say. That's okay. That's I didn't know that was his name. He was the head writer. I've never seen Seinfeld. <sighs> See, I don't know. Curb Your Enthusiasm is fucking Curb Your Enthusiasm is hilarious. Larry David. I just don't know hilarious. the actor's name. I don't to judge but, sitcom on, you know, it's iconic jokes. What's the iconic joke of Friends? How you doing? What's the iconic joke of Seinfeld? I have no idea. Shit. Soup Nazi. It's like a thousand other things. What are they? Soup Nazi? I, mean, I haven't seen the show in a couple of years, but I know from Because I, like, I rattled off like five or six for Friends. So, like. I don't probably know, we can probably rattle off about like a hundred for the office over here. Yeah. I know. There's so much. You'll learn, baby. Every You'll episode. Learn. Every episode. Oh, we're on Seinfeld. Though. Good for I'm you, man. For... 
Good the other for words. You. All right, let me let me ask also, you a question. Also, the actress of Kramer said the N word, so fuck Seinfeld. Let me ask you a question real quick. Do you have they to said go? What? He well, said what the, that Oh yeah, he was at a comedy show. Oh, I thought like, you meant all the shows. Like, oh, no, yeah, not on the show. That? When not you want to watch a funny episode of Friends, do you have to go searching? Not really. I can kind of just put one on. All right. I mean, that's also kind of a lie. That's sometimes, like, sometimes, that's I, like the premise. Sometimes of a, I'll skip of a an episode. Good show. If you could put on any episode, and be able to laugh about. At I'll it. sometimes skip a show. Or skip an episode. And there's always a sap. You need to watch but... every episode. What the hell is this? Hey, you got He's gonna read my book too, on. but you know that's not gonna happen. Oh, you mean the Office? Yeah. No, oh, no, I'll get to that. Oh, he'll get to that. He'll get to that. You right. watch every episode. Now you don't need to watch everything. Makes sense. Westworld. No, no, you need to watch that when you're sober. It's fucking confusing. No, it's confusing when you're sober. It's it's just not. They literally. I tried to, I tried to watch it through one day. I've I've tried to a watch. A couple hours later, before. they were in fucking Japan. Like I can acknowledge it's really Westworld as a good show. Like, it's just different things. It's, it's, it's not a good my, show. It's, not my it's just so weird writing. It's just like I, I don't know. No, I, I think it's a. It's a really I saw a toothbrush you can change the bristles on today. It's just a really like thing. You if it's like I saw a toothbrush you could change. If you like watching a show and thinking, instead of throwing the whole toothbrush away. Yeah, I like I like watching shows and thinking. I just don't like. I was explaining your toothbrush. That's all today on Facebook. <laughs> what's wrong with it? You know, people are, are like allowed to not. I know, but things. what's wrong with Westworld? It's too much. It kind of I don't know. Is it was it the nudity? Because there is a lot of nudity. Maybe too. There much are a lot nudity. of penises so on my side. So I guess it match up the I guess it's the futuristic aspect of it that I just not I, the tech. But I the penises. Yeah, are it's, too like, much. it's like it's, it's like a dystopia. What? It's something different though. So and it's kind of the counter the old west theme, bro. It's okay. I know. It's okay. Some people don't have to like everything. You have to like this show. You're saying you have to like Friends. No, I never said that. We're going to force you to watch Westworld. I've never said that. You're going to have to watch Westworld. So the office. I've seen. I've seen. I've seen. We're going to tape your eyelids open. I've seen multiple episodes of Westworld. I'm allowed to not like it. We're not going to let you smoke. Listen, it's a good show. Me not liking it does not make it a bad show. No, that makes it a shitty like show. It. If you, if Cliff, if higher education is not on board, I'm glad, I'm glad you hold me in such esteem. But like, are we getting Actually, paid? No, does that mean we get paid? That. Well, do you keep me in that esteem? You just told yep. me. You just told me. You just, <laughs> you just told <laughs> us to <laughs> take it down a notch. Wait, he just told us to take it down a notch. <laughs> no, no, <whatever. laughs> So let's take what it down a notch. What says go? Let's take it down a notch, man. Yeah, friends, we love friends. Friends, fucking friends. I can Whatever I say goes. Give me, give me the money in your wallet. I don't have my wallet. Can I get paid? Just call it. Oh no, I lied. All right, you're you're next. I don't carry cash. You're next. None. I got an expired GameStop card. First off, you owe me money. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, wait a second. You owe me money. That's what you get. You're like, give me all that money in your wallet. You get paid tomorrow. Wait a second. You get paid tomorrow. Oh yeah, just me. Just me. You owe me money because you got to pay me. Just you. Yeah, I don't. He doesn't hold you to that steam. I do. Oh yeah, true. It's only me. Ah, shock them. Give her all the, give her all the pennies you got. Where they go? Where you go? I don't want fucking pennies. No, it's not. I got you. It's a penny for your thoughts. There you go. Is that a fucking? Was that a token for a goddamn arcade? Honestly, I thought it was for Chuck. Wait, it's literally right the fuck. Well, you can't go though. It's for barcade. That's for barcade. There you go. You can go when you're 21 though. Save that. Oh yeah. That's your payment. (laughs) Sweet, one token. 25 cents. At barcade. Good at any. Oh oh. Good at any barcade. I can go. Worldwide with this bad boy. <laughs> We're about to be Pitbull, uh-huh. Mr. Worldwide. Uh-huh. Are right, you ready? All right, oh, all right. Not, that leaning. not that much leaning. Not that much leaning. We're getting. We're getting. That was good. Yes, get, get us okay, there. too much leaning. I'm actually back up because last time you were a little too loud. Who's a little the too loud? The fuck you saying, little shit? Him? Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Sassy, you want to get on this? Whole podcast and Mickey Mouse voice. Oh, I'm waiting for my animated special, but. Coming soon. Uh, Until then, no. You can you can add a little bit. I gotta learn how to animate. I'll just finally do that. Yeah, you can be our animator. Jungle Beats. And then Cliff is like, just a fucking tomato. Mm. All right. Oh, shit. That was really smooth. Oh, you stink. Oh, there we go. Hey. We should roll roll something here to bring to Jerry so we don't have to roll something there. Gotcha. All right. It doesn't have dull air in it. No, just so we don't have to do a drunk. Got you. All right. You guys ready? So I don't have to keep restarting this. No. Oh, yeah. All right. It's time. So now it's time. I want, I want, what? I wanted to do it. Nigga. You do the rapping. I'll do the commentary. Okay. You have to say All that right, beforehand. I... What? Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Sit that shit over. I got you. I got you. you, you. Why would you do it improv? <laughs> young Buck and you're on the beater. Right? <laughs> Actually, no. I'm not going to have young to do Buck. it. Young Buck. It's young Bucks. Part of the, it's part of the flow. You're sick. No, because it's Wait, like, Christina? it's basically like, I got to start rapping cold. 
Yeah, you got that. No. Horrors of the world. I barely got it before. <laughs> you just, while I do the do the intro, no. you just go, oh. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. And then you start, bar- oh. that's what that's what all the rappers do on Saturday. They be like, oh, right in the mic. And you're just like, oh, yeah. oh, fuck, you ate some Oh. I swear yeah, to God, I'll be in my car, I'll have the stereo up, I'll hear, oh, and I'm like, oh. there's only Where's one. Where's Khalifa does it all the time? Uh, all the time. You know, you know who really there's, does it? There's, there's all, yeah. all the time. Nigga, those are rappers. There's only one way I'm, you're doing You're that. rapping. There's, uh, only one, there's only one way. What? You're going to be There's rapping. only one way I'm doing this. You can rap. Where you got to puff it? I have to rap? <laughs> yeah. No. You got to inhale on the... On the I can't, no, yeah. I can't like freestyle. Like ASMR? If you gave me, a, if you gave me some, some lyrics there, yeah. I got you. I'll give you words to rhyme with. No. Or rhyme, rhyme, fly. Let's do my ad libs. Next time we do higher education. Next time we do time a podcast. Mine. I will bring. Mine. I will bring myself a verse. Fine. 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 You just gotta tell me what the topic is. I'll bring myself a verse. That's what I'm gonna let you do it. What? That's what I'm gonna let you do it. Okay. Or you can do it now. The topic is bubonic plague. No, I don't have enough time. I don't want to sit here and think for five minutes. It's a waste of time. Just, just do it off the dome right now. No. Off the dome. I don't have that kind of freestyle power. The dimity dome. I really gotta think, think about it, you know? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yo, what's up? That's it. That's all you get. Because I don't want to do that's it. That's what this you is about. You said it was the flow. The last 10 minutes, I didn't that's expect you. I didn't expect you to literally just be like, all right, go. I thought you were going to take over. So you go ahead. <laughs> no, I thought you could do it. No, no, no. You're minutes we've been discussing this for what? I said, go ahead. <laughs> I, lost my, I lost my momentum. <laughs> I had all this momentum build up, and you started the beat, and I lost it. And then you were just like go, and I lost what I was gonna say. All right, I'm not even rap. I said you can just do the intro. I swear, to God. <laughs> no, swear to God, it's not that. Oh, you ready? Are you doing the yeah, intro? Yeah, I'm good. I'm ready. All right. You know what time it is? It's uh, horrors of the world, and today, uh, bringing some heat. Yeah. Uh, get up on your feet. On yeah. your feet. Horrors of the world. Horrors Listen, of the world. About to go and grab your girl. Listen, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm, yeah, talking about the coronavirus back in the old days. Listen, they got to go and find their own ways. Listen, they had a sickness, had to go and get the gripness. Uh, had boils on their skin. They was running really thin. Thin. Filled with pus. They had to go get on the bus. This shit was caused by rodents. This shit what? left a big old dent in Europe's population. Had to go get salvation. Now, listen, they didn't wash their hands. They didn't come on with the full band. They, they just had to go and get the bands. Cover your mouth. Horrors of the world got me rapping like I'm trying to find the curl. Trying to turn around, make this shit go. Upside down. Where's the gloves? Listen, the bubonic plague had me pulling my own leg. That's scary. Trying to find my way around town. But what? this shit is not brown, it's yellow. I'm going to win to. Uh, okay. No, I could, I, that's where I lost it. But horrors of, of the world. You're gonna mellow. If you just do this, she freaks out. About yellow, and you're gonna head. mellow. Do that right now. Yeah. <laughs> horrors, yeah. of the, horrors of the hey, world. Hey, hey, sassy, Bu- no biting. Bubonic Jello. Play. Yeah, that's what I did. Right. Hello, kind of <laughs> works. Jello, hello. Pillow. Mellow. Is it? Yeah, there are mellow, a lot of yellow. words. Marshmallow. That's a rap. Good. <laughs> no, I had you. I was, so, thinking, I was thinking the word for you. I, I filled in the word. I said it. So horrors of the world, the bubonic plague, because the coronavirus is spreading so much, I thought it only fair that we talk about the Another virus, the, the original. original. Yeah, we can't have, we can't let Corona have all the light. About the original. The OG so, corona. the Black Death came around mid 1300s, and it wiped out. Oh, oh, the. What are you doing, bro? Can move this mic back yeah, now. In the medieval times. Yes, medieval times. Because they didn't. It's because they didn't shower. They, they they didn't do shit. They shit oh, in the street. It wasn't me. Oh, fun they, fact they, for you. Fun, fun, fun Disney fact for you. You gotta talk about Ratatouille. It's not medieval, but it's talking about shit in the streets. So I got to meet so the star right in too yesterday. The like patriotic area, I don't know what the hell they call it, near Haunted Mansion. Like Should've there there's an area that looks like old oh, Disney World nineteen seventy six, like oh, I got a couple selfies. America. Yeah. In the street I I got you in the back the, in the in the brick a there's like a river looking thing that's supposed to symbolize the shit they throw in the middle of the street also you will not find a bathroom there because they did not have public bathrooms. <laughs> no, no, okay. bathrooms they didn't have shit really just, they just dirty. had piles of shit and so 
Apparently, what, what's that science saying about that? Well, one billion that grams or germs. one billion germs can live in one gram of poop. And one of them was the bubonic plague. That's the size of a paper. So plant. basically, there was tales of a ship that rolled into town. I blew it on my face. <laughs> it like and came up from the thing on an angle. Oh. That's just a, it cut like a knife. Oh god, it's so red. I'm gonna cry. It, I literally, it looks like I would have cried about thirty seconds. I'm just honestly. Oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so many plans. Like, like, like so many people are dying Christina, or have died. Christina, do we need to start playing if it means a lot to you? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as soon as Cliff shared that, I was like, "Oh God." Um, oh God. What was I gonna say? But yeah, so ship ship rolled into town, and when really the ship did. docked, they wanted to go get on the ship, well, and everyone hydraulics. was either dead or dying. Fun fact for you. So they kind of just pushed it back out to sea. Fun fact for you. And- <laughs> I have a fun fact for you. But it was too late for that. <laughs> hey, you like, um, it it, it relates to the Black Plague. Like, 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 <laughs> but no, I don't forget it. Uh, with the Black Plague, like, like, that's where Bless You came from because they said Bless You because they weren't sure if you were going to die or not. Because your heart stopped. So they weren't sure if you were going to die or not. So that's why that's where Bless You came from. was like, the religious because thing? when you sneeze, that something leaves your body. No, no, it's that shit was like you got sickness. The black plague, they I need the blood. Sneeze and their heart the lights on. <laughs> and they were sure that they were gonna die or not, so they was like, oh, yeah. bless you. "Yeah, bless you." So, but black plague was crazy because it was like super effective. <laughs> I really find it. medieval. It was like history class, like, water on fire type, super effective. Like that's whenever just, official yeah, diagnosis. I love history class. I love crazy, anything yeah. about history. Um. So yeah, it was really effective because one, it traveled on rodents, and there was a huge rodent population in Europe. It started over in Eastern Asia. And then it eventually, with the Silk Road, migrated to Europe. Did you have to read the book in School Fever? Yeah. 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 Good, Actually, our school did a thing, too. I don't know how to read. We had a whole day. Crazy. Yeah, our school. Nigga, I got a whole like, oh, wait. shelf. That also reminds yeah. me of the one what book. The, what are so do I. I don't read them. What are I think it was. I don't know what that is, but yeah, it's like a is. Civil War Twilight. Book. It's fucking weird. <laughs> but yeah, it's whack. When we were in my school, I was gonna say in my school when we did the Yellow Fever thing, we read the book. We had a whole day where like we would design who was dead, who was infected, and who was alive. Hmm. And we all met up in the auditorium at the end. And like if you were infected, and you bring out someone your that was dead. Healthy, they'd be infected too. So nice. coronavirus. And we basically coronavirus. Had to, you know, like, coronavirus. Like literally, and then who was dead too? Just get real Can you imagine if we practiced and showed everybody how to properly quarantine? I mean, like we're not doing right now. Some, I like, mean, children have a social. Six feet, six this feet, six yeah, this feet. Is See all these people. Social distancing. Hey, you guys are not six feet. From One is Sam. So, yeah. One is Sam. Sam. You guys are social like, distancing. How, how tall are Don't you? Don't worry about it. What? what? Nigga, how tall are you? So you just put Sam and mine is two inches, and that's how far. So you put me. Yeah. What? Are you six foot? So I'm about six foot. You can dunk on this bitch. I seen those basketball skills. I seen. See my life skills. Who's it? I? I sat there in a ring of monsters. So. What'd you say? <laughs> I said you could dunk on this bitch. No, I couldn't. No. And then I said I sat in a ring yes. of monsters. I also got fucking. I can't even. I dunk. have no balls. Yeah. balls. I gotta start just like. You have no like, balls. I gotta start working on just jumping. It's good to know. I'll just be at home just jumping over and over just, just to improve my height. All right, wait. But so. Like, I get another foot. Bubonic plague. Um, another reason why it was he so effective boob. because it traveled in the air and it also traveled by contact. So, like. Kind of like coronavirus, yeah. It, it pretty much, like, you can be fine and go to bed one moment, and then dead. Dead. Yeah. Just dead overnight. Yeah. D-E-D, dead. Um, dead. Eventually, it ran its course, you know, after killing a third of the population. It's just cool. Only a third. Disappeared. Cool. Only millions um, of people. People quarantined themselves. The healthy stayed away. No, they sick. didn't. And then, can, also, they, people started... They, do you have a, a reading from this so we can teach people how to quarantine, or...? What? No. Oh, well, they quarantined back then. I they mean, knew no. how to do it. So. I mean, hell, you want to see how strange they, they know how to do it. They killed off no. a third of the population. What? No, 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 that's, that's what I'm saying. Oh, no. Watch the one episode of Ghost so, Adventures. Some people quarantined. Because they go to Povalia. Well, that's the point, though, is that when it ended. So the reason why it ended is because people be started quarantining. So the rest of the health people that were left said, you're probably going to join that thing. Well, no, the, fir- the first so, time it really ended just because it kind of ran its course through Europe. But... They, but they there's a reason and that was because they mostly got rid of the dead bodies and killed rats. And then it came it? back again. Oh, oh, like shit. the rat that was outside of work. It's a yeah, rat. So little. Oh, oh <laughs> shit! Did you play that clip for him? Hold Did on. I ever show you that? No, this, oh, there's so many shit. interruptions in this. It's a rat. I'm about to pull it up. Essentially, quick. yes. And it came back, went away. It's still here. Like there was a case of bubonic plague last year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But because we keep it in the, the, the majority like reason shit. why it went away and it hasn't come back it's because of hygiene huh. and towards the end people kind of just said those people are dead you're gonna join the other dead Love you're sick hygiene. we can't even that's why like cholera is going you. down in africa kind of just go burn you over there 
Yeah. Yeah. Like you're basically. But can I just gonna? You know, I mean, doors yeah, locked, that's what they did. Because on Ghost Adventures, yeah. they went to a place that literally used to be. They would take people who were infected and burn them. Yeah. Classic. Very classic. No, it worked. <laughs> it worked. Yes. I think they just. I think they're just quarantining. I mean, they didn't realize at the beginning. Was it South like, Korea literally... or North Korea that shot the person? They were cool. <coughs> North, North Korea. Korea. But North Korea. I mean, essentially, when it started out. There is no quarantine because you're like, what the fuck is happening? We don't even know what germs are. Well, at that point, it wasn't quarantine. What are germs? At that, no, at that point, it, was, it wasn't quarantine. Like it was exile. Spread also took longer. I was going to say, there's no idea. Yeah, by fucking horse, literally. Like, by the time people are like, oh, this seems by like the thing that happened over in Asia, it's already going to destroy it. Like, you're already in the throes of it. And you don't understand germs, so you don't understand how to stop this. So you're literally just trying to operate on also, someone and you're picking on their pus and their pus gets also think it's a, you know it's it a literally lack of it was everything. also at that point no, people thought the, it was the, the wrath of god science. so people learned to quarantine it wasn't just like oh, i mean I, I wouldn't say that yeah we didn't do that but quarantining worked right no. yeah but when they realized what they were supposed to do they were like I, no, right. no cliff i, I wouldn't say <laughs> they learned i wouldn't say they learned to quarantine no it was you you showed that you were sick you were exiled out of town that's, that's not exactly. Quarant- that's, that's not quarantine, though. That's a rudimentary quarantine. Not really. That's no that's origins. everybody forcing you to be quarantined. No, no, no. So that's an involuntary quarantine. They are gone. The healthy in this situation are quarantined from the sick. The sicker said, "Fuck you." Is that the Ratatouille version? I've seen that. I've seen that so many times. Have you seen the Ratatouille version? I've seen that so many times. Yeah, you show me that. Our shit was so the funny. We like can't day. believe this scene in Ratatouille, and I actually fucking <laughs> fell for it. <laughs> Here's he throws the fucking shoe at it. Because I'm sorry, I have, there was one I have with to watch the whole like thing the now. movie. Edited it. It's, if, right. I can't just watch two seconds of the audio. No, no, no. We got this. You just cut. So Star Wars. <laughs> and then we see Drogon blasting through the city. I am the chair. And I, 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 I Shrek was pretty. I uh, maybe wash the shit off my hands, and then we peel it off. I've heard of Blaine seem related to like boats, and like for example, how little compromise with evil is okay, as as long as it all works out in the end, right? Bop, bop. <laughs> he had it with the shield. He said, ha, ha, ha. "Everyone, shit, everyone no, was flaming like, him too." Fuck that, dude. Everyone like, was flaming. Hey, <laughs> we raised the roof. Like, do something if it means everything or whatever the fuck it said. <laughs> I guess. I never wanted you to work. I did. 